Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how I add my pages into my Bible. Um, this is just a plain Bible that I got. Oh, I don't even know when I got this, but I've added pages into it so that I could do my pretty pages along with my actual text. Um, so uh, here we go. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to get started, what you're going to need is some type of marking utensil, something to write with. Um, the Bible that you're going to be adding the pages to, this one is the uh, New, Interna New International Version NIV by Zondervan. I don't know if that's right or not, but whatever. You see. Okay, so you're going to need that. Just open to any page. It doesn't really matter at this point. And then you're going to need some paper that you're going to add in. I just like using white copy paper. Works best for me. Um, some type of glue or adhesive of some sort. So tape or however you wish to do that. And then a pair of scissors. And that should be about all you need. Okay, first things first. So what we're going to do is open to a page that doesn't have a divider tab. So it doesn't really matter which page, just a page. I like doing one that has a few pages before the divider tab. So I'll do like this one right here. And what I'm gonna do is just stick my page down in between. I don't know if you can still see that, yeah. So stick my page right down in between, right? Like that. And then I'm just gonna go to the next tab here and pull everything before that over on top. And I'm going to try and make that lay as flat as I can get it. And then I'm just going to make sure that page is done in there pretty well. And realistically, it's not going to make that big of a difference if it's not. So there we go. And then I'm just going to take my pencil and trace around that page. All the way around them. You're not trying to be perfect, just trying to get it traced out. All right. There we go. Now you can see that if I cut right along that line, it'll fit perfect, but hold on because <laughs> what you're going to want to do is make this just a little bit more elongated and I'll show you why here in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Go ahead and grab this up here. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out a little bit longer and maybe just a little bit more narrow than what we had originally anticipated. Okay, so. I'm just gonna do about that much. It doesn't need a whole lot. And I'm not super paranoid about it being super straight or anything like that. I just go ahead and get it cut. And that's, you know, up to you if you want it to be perfect or not on this first cut, because you can always go back in and like later So, there's that all cut out now. And get rid of these scraps. Yep, I just throw them on the floor. <laughs> um, okay, so then I go ahead and take, make sure it fits again still yet. Yep, and you're gonna want a little bit of flap here just for a second. And then we're gonna take, push my Bible up just a little bit. Take this right here and just fold it a little bit. Not very much. Just the tiniest bit of fold there. Okay. There we go with that. And then I'm gonna find whatever page that I wanna add this to. So if I wanted to add it, um, let's see. Let's do, 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 do. Let's do right here. Looks like a good starting point. Okay. Now you're gonna need a second piece of paper. And push this back up here again and you're gonna need a second piece of paper and you're just gonna slide it underneath that little lip that we created a while ago make sure that it's folded down really well right okay and for me i like to do two pieces two extra pieces so put one underneath and one 
in that little fold. It's hard to see, I'm sure, but that's what we're doing. It's just one inside that fold, that little bitty fold, and then one underneath to protect your work surface. Now, if you're working on something that you do a lot of crafts on, it's not really that big a deal. But this is my um, work desk, my actual like <laughs> work desk. So now we're going to take our stick glue, which is what I prefer to use, but it doesn't really matter if you wanted to tape it in or use regular glue or Mod Podge or however you want to do it, it would work the same. So now I'm just going to run my glue stick down here like so, all the way across that little lip, like that. Close my dude back. And I like to grab it up here rather than down by that fold. And I'm gonna get rid of these two real quick. So now, the only thing I didn't tell you that you needed because it's not necessary um, is some type of ruler or something along those lines to get it really pushed into that um, crease there. So I like to just take, and it doesn't really matter which way you're pushing it in. If you want to do it either way, I like to just make sure that this thing is on top so that it's easier for me to work with. But either way, so I just put my ruler down in that fold. Oop, down just a little bit more. Okay, and then I just go in with my ruler and just really well press and then as I'm pressing, I'm leaning it toward that little lip. I don't know if you can see that at all. Um, so my lip is on this side, so I'm just going to push it down in there between the lip and the actual piece of paper that we're going to be doing our work on. And then, sorry, my dog's in the crate just acting like a fool. Um, get this out of the way so you can... So it's not too distracting. Um, and then you're just gonna press this down really firmly. And as you're pressing, slide it up like that. And there you are. So now you can go in and erase this little mark here, or you can use one paper for a stencil, if you will. And then the rest of your pages that you're gonna be um, marking and cutting and all of that, you can put behind it and that would work the same way. Um, but that's basically it is the most simple way I figured out to do this. So now I'm going to go ahead and so this is Ruth one. I'm just going to close my Bible, press one more time right here on the spine. And then all you have to do is open it back up. So for me, that's Ruth one and there we are and now it's in there good and tight um i wouldn't go too crazy pulling on it until it's completely dry um depending on the type of glue you used that could be from a day to three days to a couple of hours to a couple of minutes so um i know with my my um little craft bond elmer's all-purpose glue stick <laughs> i can use that and be ready to go ahead and work on this page in a matter of minutes. So now all I have to do is go get my supplies to actually do my page here. And then that's ready to go, I'm done. So I appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks, bye.